So if I'm allergic to multiple foods, why don't I try microdosing it to see if my body eventually accepts it? That's a great question. And before I answer it, watch this video. It'll explain it. If you've ever wondered what mast cell activation syndrome is, it's basically this. I'm going to eat from this restaurant that I've eaten from a million times. Okay. Mm, that was so good. Hey, 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 what is that? I think we're under attack. It's just some chicken nuggets. Threat detected. We're not even allergic to gluten. I just decided you are. What, why? why? Why are you doing this? Incoming attack. Oh, great. Now I feel like my throat is closing up. I'm getting a rash and my stomach hurts. You're welcome. Crisis averted. So that pretty much sums it up very well. I'm allergic to everything and nothing at the exact same time. Once I got the, uh, the shot, it definitely changed something in my body and gave me the mast cell activation syndrome. Now on paper, I'm not allergic to anything. Not peanuts, not seeds, not strawberries, nothing. But if I eat a handful of peanuts, there's no going back. I'm going down. So microdosing anything would not change because I would still be allergic to it, technically. And the weirdest thing is that it'll change. So like last month, I was able to have like chicken, turkey, whatever it is. This month, my body only likes steak and certain types of like pasta. And it continues to change like once a month. However, I think I found a protocol that seems to be working right now because I've definitely been uh, doing pretty good the last two weeks. And the funny thing is when I talked about the protocol, I was actually following it got taken down and said that it was uh, false news.